Whacking the same guys over and over again.
One more step and I'll pump your guts full of lead. How many times do I have to tell you, gangsters? I can't make any more poison. I already gave you everything I had. What are you talking about? What the hell is this place? You don't know? You're not one of Frankie's guys? No, we're not particularly good friends. Spill it, pal. What's going on down here? Frankie locked me up here after he took all the poison. What poison? Make sense, man! <sighs> this 
is a U.S. federal government facility. Prohibition is turning out to be one big failure with all you bootleggers and shiners brewing your own stuff. The Bureau of Prohibition ordered me to experiment with the poisoning of the ingredients to make alcohol to put a stop to the illicit drinking. I thought my product was fabulous. The perpetrators were becoming very recognizable. But the government officials thought the effects were a bit extravagant. So they shut my whole operation down, taking all my finances, putting me out of business. And I should destroy every drop of my poison? I think not. I don't get it. If the government shut the whole thing down, then who's responsible for this mess? Frankie did it. After the federal agents left, he approached me and told me he was interested in my work. He would pay me a fortune if I could produce him gallons of my poison. But why, for God's sake? I don't know. He was speaking of a perfect diversion. I don't know what he meant. But he specially waited until St. Patrick's Day to put his poison in the alcohol. Of course. Using a drunkard's holiday to make sure everyone would be drinking his crap, turning the whole town into some kind of cannibal holocaust. I did not know his plans were to poison the whole city. Yeah, big freaking surprise. Please take me with you back to the surface. We have to fix this. Well, your problem's getting fixed, all right. The army is preparing everything to blow this whole place to kingdom come to cover this whole thing up. And as for you, I'm gonna give you a taste of your own medicine. <laughs> so long, you quack. Lucio. Frankie, you made it. Barely. This Vinny guy you sent for me is a freaking nut. He just wiped out the entire Bonino gang, and now he's coming for us. You gotta stop him. What? Please, hurry. There's no time. You gotta send as many men as possible to stop him. Just send everyone. He's gonna kill us all. Tony, there's a guy heading our way. Make sure he doesn't reach the tower. Long, Mr. Boluccio. Thanks for the ride. And of course, the money. <laughs>
Refuse!
and take it like a man. joining the flight. It's just gonna be me and his millions. <laughs> so you whacked the boss and turned the whole city into a pile of flesh-eating maniacs just to get your hands on Voluccio's fortune? And to get even with him and the Boninos for both hustling my butt for all those years, taking every dime I earned and treating me like a nobody. I'm a freaking war hero for Pete's sake. How about some damn respect? You'll never get away with this, you friggin' nut. Sure I will. Look around you. The city is in ruins. Nobody will ever figure out what really happened here. <laughs> I created the perfect diversion. The only problem was I didn't count on the gangsters only drinking the imported booze and not the local brew, so they didn't get infected. Lucky for me, you came along and took care of them for me. <laughs> Mr. Boluccio signed his own death warrant by sending you to help me. <laughs> oh, but enough chatting. Say your prayers, Mr. Vinny, because I ain't leaving no witnesses. Bring it on, you lunatic!
you freaking bastard! <laughs> Hey, stop screaming like a girl and take it like a man. Oh, okay. Benny, please, you can't kill me. I'm the only one who can fly this thing. You need me. I'll read the freaking manual. Now, let's see if you can fly without the blimp. No, no! Ah! And there ended my little trip to Thugtown. The entire town was dead. The Boninos whacked, the Baluccios rubbed out, that rat bastard Frankie squashed like a bug. It was just me and a blimp filled with a couple of million bucks and no witnesses. Things could have been a lot worse. I guess Frankie's plan was not so bad after all. <laughs> So long, suckers! <laughs> <laughs> Bye.